Mr. Monkey. From apps that make fart noises to dogs that wear wigs, we look at 20 weird inventions that made millions of dollars. Number 20. Dog wigs. Believe it or not, finally your dog can look like Bob Marley or Shirley Temple. Just go to your local costume shop and can look just like your dog. Now this is either really cute or really weird depending on which way you look at it. Either way, the person that started this company has made millions. Number 19. Head On. Head On is a brand name for a topical product claiming to relieve headaches. It achieved widespread notoriety in 2006 as a result of the repetitive commercial consisting only of the tagline, Head On. Applied directly to the forehead, stated three times in succession. Supposedly, you would rub this on your forehead to get rid of headaches. Placebo effects anyone? Number 18. Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies are a line of popular stuffed animals made in the early 1990s. Each toy had an inner opposable lining and was stuffed with plastic pellets or beans. Some people even said that they were baked beans, giving the Beanie Baby a flexible but squishy feel. Whatever they are made out of, they made tons and tons of money. Number 17. The Flowbee. The Flowbee is an electronically powered vacuum cleaner attachment made for cutting hair. In 1988, the product was advertised as being capable of performing hundreds of technical layered haircuts on late night television of infomercials. And by the year 2000, 2 million of these Flowbees had been sold. That is just insane. Number 16. Nose Straightener. Why waste your money on expensive nose jobs when you can just buy the Electric Beauty High Lift Nose Vibrator that can do the same thing as lifts in the privacy of your own home? I don't know about anyone else, but this seems a little bit crazy and you think this product went on to make millions of dollars? Who actually bought it? Number 15. Doggles. Doggles goggles for dogs. The loving dog owners take care of their dogs as like their children. This dog is letting them show how much they care for their dogs. The description about this gadget says after wearing the doggles, dogs can enjoy the open road. They will not face problems while looking outside the car windows while they hang out with friends. Aren't they doing all this stuff before doggles without any problem? Anyways, this product was still a big hit. Number 14. iFart App This is really a ridiculous and nasty idea to have an iFart app with you. This app is available at iTunes, you will not believe your eyes when you see the app to be at top 20 all-time Apple apps. This app has over 30 fart sounds recorded into it. So if you want to ever prank your friend, just put your iPhone near him. He will regret that fart sound coming from your iPhone, which will make him a little embarrassed. Joel Calm, the creator of the game said, hate on all you want, and developed the app with the same idea. The app was downloaded 113,000 times during the first two weeks. On a recent interview, he told the app made over $400,000 with 600,000 downloads. Number 13. Billy Bob Teeth It must be a little disheartening for parents to see their children pop in a pair of Billy Bob Teeth. There's nothing like spending thousands of dollars to correct a crossbite or undo an underbite only see it undone for $9.99. Call it innocent fun, classism, or revenge for months of stabbing wires, tiny rubber bands, and ludicrous headgear. Whatever the motive, parents probably die a little inside. It's hard to believe that the profits from a set of novelty teeth could pay a dental bill, let alone settle a pair of student loans. But these counterfeit choppers not only dug their developers
grocery store shelf, or a white elephant gift box, we all have seen one. The device was originally created by a Texas novelty toy company in the late 1990s, and it was soon reeling in the dough. Perhaps as a monument to buyers' questionable taste and willingness to annoy family members, by the start of the 2000s, the singing fish had become a hugely popular gag gift and stocking stuffer. Stores sold hundreds of singing stripers each hour and struggled to keep them in stock. Sales of the fish toppled 1 million in the year 2000 alone. The fish spawned a slew of imitators, including other fish, lobsters, and even Christmas trees. But, as the word suggests, novelty items depend strongly on newest. They're probably eventually tapered off, and while you can still find the fish in many stores, it's not as nearly as in demand as it once was. Number 11. Plastic Wishbone Documentaries make a big deal about how great inventors perceive opportunities that others do not, but sometimes there's good reason those opportunities elude our vision. They're ridiculous. Who would have guessed that the world was waiting for revolutionary advance in plastic wishbone technology? Ken Aroni, founder and inventor of Lucky Break Wishbone Corp, that's who. The idea to manufacture and sell fake wishbones came to his thought during argument over who would get the wishbone from his holiday turkey. Now, everyone, even vegans, can have a wishbone all their own because that was necessary, apparently. To his credit, Roni had to fracture a lot of frucolas to come with the plastic that would break like bone. After all, most plastics are designed not to break, and the ones that do break tend to shatter the servers instead of delivering a satisfying snap. Number 10. Magic 8 Ball Without a doubt, Albert Carter and A.B. Bookman would have needed psychic powers to have predicted the eventual success of their psychic seer fortune telling device. Even then, they would have been very doubtful that would it would one day take the form of an 8 ball. It is certain, however, that the spherical soothsayer owes its trademark black and white flair, and perhaps its success to Chicago's Brunswick Billards and its promotional interest. Inspired by Carter's mother, a self-proclaimed Cincinnati clairvoyant, the ball began as a tube containing a thick liquid and a dye with predictions printed on it. It was then briefly marketed as a crystal sphere, which caught Brunswick's eye, after which it assumed his sectoral fondness for basic black. Following a few technical advancements, the Magic 8-Ball has become what it remains today. A sphere surrounding an alcohol and dye filled tube, which contains a 20 sided dye stamped with various answers. Number 9. Santa Mail. Each year, during Christmas time, millions of children around the world pen letters to Santa and hope a response which never comes. And hence, children become upset. So Brian's Reese's realized the potential of business in this market and started a Santa Mail servers which will send personalized letters to kids from Santa. Santa Mail allows children to send mail to the North Pole. Parents enclose a small fee of $9.95 and little Johnny and Jane receive a personalized letter back from the big man himself. By now, Santa Mail has responded to over 350,000 children and a close to $10 a letter. You can easily predict the big return that Byron Reese's is enjoying. Number 8. I can hash cheeseburger.com. Started by Eric Nakawaga, aka Cheeseburger, and Kerry Unabosmi, aka Tofuburger, this website had a simple goal which was to add fun in people's lives. There are funny pictures being uploaded with very funny captions. Almost instantaneously, the website started receiving a very high amount of visitors. It was then purchased by Ben Ha for $2 million. Now, the website is getting 35 million hits per month with 8,000 daily images submissions. Seriously funny and a great idea. Number 7. Slinky Naval engineer Richard James accidentally dropped a tension spring and watched the Slinky weigh on the floor. Hence, the Slinky was born. First time when James was about to represent the toy, he was so nervous that he hired a friend to represent the toy. But his nervousness was unwarranted because 400 toys were sold out in just 90 minutes. 
This $1 toy reached billions in sales, and its creator is living his life very comfortably. Number 6. The Koosh Ball You may have never heard Scott Stillinger, but somewhere in your home or an office, you may have one of these inventions, the Koosh Ball, which made millions of dollars. Stillinger tied rubber bands together to make an easy to catch ball for his children in 1987, and hence, he came out with the idea of this Koosh Ball. Odds On Products Incorporation helped him to distribute this product, and within 12 months, Koosh Ball became year's hardest Christmas gifts. The company then expanded the business with other companies, and within 10 years, the ridiculous invention became a $100 million business. That is an insane amount of cash. Number 5. The Snuggie Imagine you're sitting on your couch in cold December reading a book. It's so cold you decide to use a blanket, but the blanket limits your hand movements. What to do now? The great idea is to wear a sleeve blanket, the Snuggie. You might think, I can just wear a sweater, but where's the real fun in that? The Snuggie was a hit with more than 20 million Americans purchased the Snuggie between Fall 2008 and Christmas 2009, at between $10 and $20 per blanket. Nothing better than wearing a Snuggie while you Netflix and chill. Number 4. Million Dollar Homepage A 20 year old guy, Alex Tu, was very sensitive. He didn't want to take out monstrous debts for a study, so the guy put his mind to play and created a million dollar homepage. The homepage is a web page where he sold a million pixels for a dollar each, and hence, million dollar homepage. He actually succeeded in doing this. He sold each and every pixel and banner ads to thousands of companies and earned a profit of one million dollars. Number 3 Fur Bee What has fur, corgi ears, and a bird beak, and can supposedly learn English? If you didn't guess the fur bee, well, no one would hold it against you. The hottest toy in the market in the late 1990s is today a little more than a faded memory. The subject of internet snark and urban dictionary entries. Released in 1998 by Tiger Electronics, Furby stood 6 inches, was covered in colorful fur, it could play games and wiggle its body. Tiger marketed the computerized critter as one of the first widely available artificial intelligence toys. One of Furby's tricks was to learn English. Actually, it was simply programmed to speak less of its gibberish language over time, replacing it with English. When one Furby was brought together with another, the two would engage in gibberish conversations, much the way some humans do. The hideous, hirsute critters debuted with a $40 price tag, but in the proud tradition of holiday fad toys, soon saw demand drive their prices into the hundreds. In just three years, more than 40 million freakish furballs flew off the shelves, in a crazy of shapes, sides, and themes, including a Christmas Furby, Halloween Furby, and even a 2000 presidential election Furby. Perhaps inevitably, the Furby's popularity faded. They remain available on the internet, but are scarce in stores. Number 2. Tamagotchi Like the Furby, this 90s relic simulated owning a pet. A pet more prone to dying than a carnival goldfish during rush week. If you've ever dreamed of cleaning up the virtual excrement of a chirping, battery-powered, egg-shaped keychain, then rejoice. You're clearly not alone, with these electronic virtual pets sold like hotcakes. Japanese toy maker Bandai first unveiled Tamagotchi, a portmanteau of the Japanese word for egg, and then the English word watch, in 1996. It worked like this. You turn the Tamagotchi on, gave it a name, and then use the buttons on the device to feed it. Play games with it, put it to bed, or yes, clean up its waist. Over time, the creature on the black and white LCD screen would grow and change into different versions if you took good care enough of it. The earliest Tamagotchi required near constant attention or they would die, mandating a reset of the device so the process would start over. This made them unpopular with parents and teachers who noticed their kids sometimes care for the toys at the expense of chores and homework. At one time, Bandai estimated it was selling Tamagotchi per second. More than 70 million have been sold since, spawning a slew of imitators. 
The virtual varmints are still available, and elementary school kids can still have been toying them on their backpacks, though not in the numbers they once did. Number 1. Pet Rock What is arguably the weirdest invention of all time to make millions of dollars wasn't really an invention at all. The Pet Rock In case you don't recall this rock fiasco, Gary Dahl, advertising executive from California, figured out a way to decorate and market rocks as pets. It might not sound like much, but it spawned a fad that swept the US like a runaway rock slide. Dahl purchased an orony gray pebbles from a construction supplier and sold them as pets. Some models sported painted faces, while some bore glued on Google eyes on their stony contunces. In a testament to marketing and to P.T. Barnum, Dahl billed the pet rock as a perfect pet, one that never need to be fed or cleaned up after. As outlined in a humorous manual included with the pet, Orange could talk to it, name it, or teach it to do simple tricks. The pet rock debuted in 1975 at 395, about $16 in the current economy. In just six months, Dow sold more than 5 million pet rocks, raking in a profit equivalent to 56 million in 2011 dollars, in large part because of his lack of overhead. Buying the rocks and delivering them probably cost only 95 cents a piece. Pet rocks have staged a comeback on the internet in recent years. You can still buy them online, though many of them are fancier than Dial's originals. That's it for today's countdown, guys, and as always, stay mythical! Doobie -doobie -doo.